Hi, Gianluca. Hello. My name is Alexandra, and I want to ask you some questions about Dunia Eurovision, sure. music, and your life. First of all, could you introduce yourself and uh, tell us about your song? Um, I'm Gianluca Celia from Malta, and I'll be representing my country, Malta, with the song Daratont. Uh, are there any songs from Junior Eurovision you liked the most? From this year's Junior Eurovision or? F uh, from all years. Oh, um, there is not one particular, but, but I really follow the Eurovision, so like, I love all of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, how are you going to relax after this contest? <laughs> With everything I can. <laughs> Uh, what, do, what do you want to do after Junior Eurovision that is prohibited for you now? Um, eat chocolate all day. Because <laughs> for now, I'm like, you must not eat sugars. Like, anything. Not, no drinking sugars, no eating sugars. Just stay to a strict diet and then you'll do fine. So, who knows? Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. I think it's true, so. <laughs> Gianluca, uh, do you get tired of music sometimes? Um, I never mind listening to music, so, but, and then too much is too much. But and then I don't mind it. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, how do you fight with stress before the performance? It's more, ex it's more nervousness and ex exciting than, then, like, it's... It is not stress? It's not tr stressing, but it's really nervous. But it's ner nerve-wracking, but I try to fight it by either breathing four times in and out, just inhaling, and, like, saying small prayer. And uh, um, before I go on stage, I say this quote, Just try your best, and God will do the rest. Okay. Uh, Gianluca, what is more important for you, lyrics or melody? Um, if the lyrics are in a different language, mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind, but I'm, I follow more the melody than the lyrics. Okay. Which songs are your favorite now, for this moment? <laughs> a lot of them. That's a hard question. <laughs> a lot of them, a lot. Uh, how do you like to spend your free time? Um, when I have free time, you'd either find me either writing a long story or reading, or else just playing on my phone, just normal things that kids do. <laughs> and what are your favorite books? Um, I've, re I've read a lot of books, but uh, I've re I'm reading, so far, I'm reading these uh, books from an author called David Williams. They're my favorite. Mm -hmm. What do get your mood better when you are sad? Um, either listening to, like, one of my most favorite, like, music, mm -hmm. or just trying to think of happy thoughts. <laughs> okay. Um, we heard... You like to play with Lego, yes? Yes. Either as well. If you, if I'm not like busy doing stuff, you might find me as well playing with my Lego too, <laughs> experimenting. I like to play with Lego too when I was a child. Have you ever visited Legoland? Yes, I've yes. visited it once at London. It was amazing. I loved it. Very good. And the last question. Uh, Christmas is coming soon. Do you like Christmas? It's one of my favorite, like, it's like, it's one of my favorite events of the year. And mostly because it's cold. I love the cold. Um, just because summer is really like, yeah, like your clothes just stick to each other. Like, uh, and you're always sweating. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be all cozy in your house, just in front of the heater. So, yes. And how are you going to celebrate? Maybe you have a tradition to celebrate Christmas? Um, we don't really celebrate it like that, but to celebrate uh, um, 
maybe like junior your vision like after this experience i'm just gonna eat a bunch of chocolate <laughs> and once Cause, like it's it's really hard when you have a strict diet that you can't eat anything like before you sing so so you want to get from santa chocolate <laughs> maybe <laughs> not like i would prefer something else but I would accept chocolates, like small box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Who would like chocolate for a Christmas present? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Dan okay. Luke, and thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Bye.